Now to the situation that occurred this afternoon on Youngstown South Side between I-680 and Poland Avenue. A woman from the attic window screaming from a burning house asking those below to catch her baby. That's what happened on Harmon Avenue in Youngstown, and luckily a neighbor was there to help get the family to safety. 27 First News reporter Molly Reed was on the scene tonight. She's live in the studio. Yeah, guys, I first brought you this story first at 6, and since then we can tell you not only are neighbors heroic acts to thank tonight, but also one of the kids who was in the house got out and then ran back inside to get more people. There was a bunch of kids that came out of the house, seen the, the downstairs was on fire. This home on Harmon Avenue is a total loss. But thanks in part to the quick thinking of neighbor Martina Cole, the family who was trapped inside is alive. Uh, church people, they came over and they were trying to help. And we came out and seen the one girl on the roof and told her to jump. And we just grabbed them. The family was actually all over the house at the time of the fire. The mother was actually in the attic with her one-year-old baby. You can see the window where she clawed her way out, jumped out onto this overhang, and then dropped the baby into a neighbor's arms. Got him, and then we grabbed her. We had to took the kids all in the house, and they were had no shoes, no coat on or nothing. A 12-year-old who was also rescued from the house ran back inside to save another child that was asleep on the first floor. Mm, oh my God, it was so scary. It was, but thank God they were all safe. Seven people were inside the house at the time of the fire. The baby suffered smoke inhalation and a burn to the ear and was taken to Akron Children's Hospital. The 12 year old was also treated for smoke inhalation, but has since been released from the hospital. Uh, it's going to be a total loss. Yeah, quite a bit of damage, especially for a daytime fire. Got here within our three minute uh, response time, but uh, quite a bit of damage. Now the fire department thinks the fire was accidental and that it started on a mattress. They're t telling us that 11 people lived in the house and that the Red Cross is help helping them tonight. In the newsroom, Molly Reed, WKBN 27 First News at 10.